Okay, YouTuber. Today I have a 2007 Subaru Impreza. So basically what happened, the guy bring it to say that the clutch, the pedal is to the floor and it doesn't come up. So basically I do the diagnostic and I figure out that his master cylinder is no good. Okay. So before you change the master cylinder, there's some stuff you need to check. You can start the car in gear and you can drive it. It does not smell any burning from the clutch, so you know that the clutch is good. And the, the main thing that would happen, the first thing I check for, because after you say that the fluid, the pedal is on the floor, I check for the brake fluid. And the reservoir was full. So I know there is no leak, because you could have a leak in the, the master, you could have a leak in the sleeve, the one that pushes the fork to the clutch and the transmission. So uh, when you establish that there is no leak, because if it was leaking, the reservoir would be empty. But the reservoir is not empty, the reservoir is still full. So then I know that there is some pressure loss somewhere. Okay? So there is two choices. You could lose pressure from your master, or you could lose pressure on the slave cylinder, the one on the transmission. Okay? So you have to do some tests to check that which one is really giving you the problem. Okay, so the test that you, I did for that is like you need two person. Okay, you need to get someone in the car, mashing the clutch, and you want to know how far does the, the slave cylinder pushes the, the, um, the arm that pushes the clutch, that engage the, the clutch, okay? So you see, you basically see only a little movement. So then you take a, a pry bar and you try to to apply the pressure yourself on the fork to engage the gear and the person put it in gear is going in easy because now you you doing the you doing it manually and it's work so you know your clutch is good. So now we have to know which is the, the right one. Then you have to check the pressure from the sleeve. You hold it. You do it opposite now. Now you're gonna hold this the the forks and your friend press the, the clutch. Then you want to see how much pressure, how much force that you have. So if you feel that there is no pressure, as in this case, that the, there was no pressure, because it's supposed to be very strong to push that arm out, but there was not enough pressure. So right away you know that your master cylinder is losing pressure because you have a valve in here, and the valve has some seal. And if those seals are weak, then what happens, your liquid is going to escape. So, so when you push your clutch, this is basically what happened. When you push your clutch, your clutch is attached to, to this here. So when you push it, it's pushing here. Then the fluid in here from the valve, because it's sealed, so you pressurize the system. So what happened now, the fluid needs somewhere to go. So the fluid is going to go to the slave cylinder. And then the slave cylinder is going to push out the arm to push your fork so that you can engage your gears okay but when that happening when it's not happening you cannot engage in gear your car is gonna be stuck you cannot shift you cannot do anything okay so so to take out this here first you have to disconnect your inside the car on the clutch pedal there's a pin that goes through here to your clutch pedal with a clip you remove the clip you pull out the pin and then in front of the car here you have uh, two screws, two 12, number 12 screw. you take those out. But before you take those out, you have to disconnect your, the line that connects here. This is the fluid that goes to the slave cylinder, so you need to disconnect this first. You don't want to release this because it's going to be moving all over the place. You need something solid so you can release this. So this is the first thing you remove. Then you remove your two 12 bolt nuts, and that's it. And in turn of reinstalling the cylinder is you always take the measurement of the old cylinder because this is adjustable, okay? You could adjust it. So you try to measure it with the one that you take out because you don't want too much, you don't want too less because your clutch could go up too much or your clutch could go down too much. So you don't want that or you could damage your, your master cylinder because you're pushing more than you're supposed to push. You could damage your seal and it wouldn't last.
for a couple of weeks okay because i see it already okay it's adjust too much okay so when you do that you're going to use brake fluid in this system okay so when you put the brake fluid you will have to bleed it so usually you come with a bleeding screw that you're going to put it back here with a hose that goes back here and you pump this up a couple times right because when you do this you're trying to get the air out so it's going to be easier for you to bleed there because you have to do some bleeding because some car with this system they take a long time and you can need two people to do it or you could do it yourself if you have a vacuum okay sometimes it's take time and the best the easy way if you have a vacuum too okay you put it because you don't bleed it here you bleed it on the slave cylinder has a nipple that you release and you bleed it okay so so that is the diagnostic to check in your clutch when the clutch is stuck to the floor and it doesn't want to come up okay you know that you're losing pressure okay and then you can check when the clutch stuck you check that if you have fluid in your reservoir if you have fluid you must know that you're losing pressure either from the master or the slave so first you're going to be checking them for leaks okay that if you have fluid inside you know that none of them is leaking but if you're missing fluid, you have to check for a leak on the slip. So you know, usually sometimes it's leak the oil out, or you could have a broken line, the line that goes to the the, the slave, or you have the hose is busted, something. But as long as but as long as you have fluid in there, it's coming from your master, or it can come from your slave. So you have to distinguish which one is okay. So to know that if it's the the slave, okay, you can hold. And see if it's giving pressure and then you can test your master to see how much it sprays out the pressure that you know when you when you release it and you pump it how strong it is so you can check that and okay you can see that visually that the oil is squirting out very hard you can say yes your master is good and when the slave is no good it's not gonna push out so you cannot engage it here okay so that is the basic step how you check your your clutch when your clutch pedal is stuck to the floor and you cannot put your car in gear so you could start it if you want to really have to move it what you can do is start it in gear and try to move it to somewhere safe or it depends where it's happened and you can put it in a spot you wouldn't get to or do something in that sort of you know of manner okay so but if you know to drive you can really basically drive without the clutch you just know when to change a gear, you can drive without the clutch until you get it fixed. Alright, just get to a garage and just drop it off there. Okay? So, that's how you diagnostic a clutch. Alright? So, thanks for watching and look out for more interesting video about your cars. And if you have any question, you know where to find me. You can find me on my site, you can leave me a message and I'll get back to you.